never to see the person again general relationships number two there are seasonal relationships that means these are relationships that are so ordained for seasons and the key to maximizing these relationships is to position yourself through discernment to know what you need to receive within the time allotted are we together now for instance there are some of us that god on account of his desire to lift you he will carry you and keep you in the house of an uncle keep you in the house of an auntie put you under the care of someone to train you you will not be there forever but that relationship was for a season because in his mind he saw that that is the only atmosphere where you will learn character and discipline and diligence you can spend your six years there complaining and saying my uncle is a wicked man rather than discerning that time is ticking i should learn quickly what i need to learn the man you call a wicked man has never begged for bread the man you call a wicked man is still with his wife the man you call a wicked man prays in the morning and prays in the night these are the things you should be learning God took you from wherever oh Moses he kept you in Pharaoh's house to learn something that you will need later on seasonal relationships many of you have aborted seasons of greatness in your life because you did not discern relationships that came in certain seasons politically ministerially and so on and so forth rather than discerning to say why did god bring this person this person some of you god gave you jobs not because of the salaries there was something and someone you needed to meet there that after and you had a three-year time span to learn it you spent two years complaining and right now you have about three months left you need grace to catch up quickly hear me there are certain people God took to serve NYSE in regions they did not want. He kept them there to connect them to certain people so they could learn certain things. Every time you are a believer and you are in an uncomfortable environment, know that God allowed you there to see something. If you can look past the pain and yes, I know that the woman did not treat you well when you are under her care. Take your eyes away from her character flaws and learn something about motherhood because the man you are about to marry oh esther you are marrying a hazardous you have to be trained so god can take you and keep you in an uncomfortable environment but rather than learning you are there complaining and say she bought clothes for the children and did not buy clothes from it's a stretching to build you listen carefully many of us have had to recycle seasons in our lives because we could not discern seasons there is no great man i know who will be honest with you about the story of their life and you cannot capture in that story times when they were kept in seemingly uncomfortable positions the man who would later be the matthias steven did you know he started working in the welfare department imagine how much of an insult that would be to him this guy was bubbling with anointing wanting to be a man of god and they say oh yeah serve the rice serve this some of you god will bring you to ministry and while you are eyeing the pulpit god will take you straight to the security department and keep you there and yet in your dreams you are an apostle it is a training don't think god will bring you to the pulpit to come and serve no so we have general relationships please pay attention we're getting deeper we have seasonal relationships and let me tell you something with seasonal relationships seasonal relationships are largely the kinds of relationships that god uses to prepare us for destiny some of you can have a two-week course with certain classmates and within that two weeks more than what you are learning god brought you there and connected you to certain people because five years to come you will need one of those people to be used by god to open a door for you and when you are there you will love only christians and hate muslims you will love only christians or love only your tribesmen and hate other people and the spirit of god will say you are wasting time you are not discerning everyone there has potential to be used by god to bless you are we learning 
the third kind of relationship very quickly they are called destiny relationships 